my god, is it great to be back in the stew, and I do apologize for the lack of vlog post. I'm working on a few things for FTV Live, and it's been eating up a lot of my time. Plus, since I've basically been stuck here in lockdown since February, there's not really a lot going on in my life to talk about. But let's talk about my hair. I think I could use a little trim. I haven't gotten a haircut this year, and it would be kind of an understatement to say that it's out of control. Maybe one day I'll feel safe again to get my hair cut. But I did want to address something on today's vlog. The other day, FTV Live did a story on KVOA rookie reporter Austin Walker and his, quote, first world problems. When Walker accepted his job at the Tucson station, he posted a picture of his to-do list before he left for Arizona. On that to-do list were things like calling Nordstrom's, and also calling to set up tours of some golf villas. In that story, we jokingly asked, how much is KVOA paying this guy? How many reporters in their first job are shopping at high-end stores and looking at living in a golf villa? After I landed my first job, I was happy to find a place where the gunshots died down after midnight. I thought it was a win. The story we did about Walker the other day was another post for him about getting his car stuck in the Arizona desert. Now, this wasn't some jalopy that many of us have driven on our first job. His car was a really nice BMW. All of you that started your first job in TV news, raise your hand if your whip was a brand new white BMW. Anyone? After that story, we got more than a few emails from TV newsers that were saying, they didn't have BMWs or didn't attend prestigious universities and were still working on paying their student loans. Uh, one email was signed, a bitter Gen Z news producer who is trying to pay her own bills. It seems that Mr. Walker didn't like the story that FTV Live posted uh, about his whip getting stuck in the Arizona desert. Um, so he posted a video of his own. And we want to share it with you here. For those who don't know, FTV Live is kind of like the gossip column for the broadcast news industry. It's like TMZ if it was just for reporters. It's run by Scott Jones, who used to be a news director in the industry, but now spends his free time writing stories about reporters doing their jobs. First off, Austin, let me expand on that just a bit. Yes, I was a former news director, but I was also a photographer, a reporter, a producer, an assignment editor, a managing editor, an EP, and a segment producer. Second, I don't work on FTV Live in my free time. It's my job. I wake up and start work at 1 a.m., and oftentimes I'm still working and making calls at 5 p.m. Not sure how it is with you, but when you're working 15 to 16 hours every day, there's not a lot of, quote, free time. Also, I haven't taken a single day off in over five years. I'm working weekends, I'm working Christmas, Easter, July 4th, and every other holiday and every other day. I'm thinking your definition of free time and mine are much different. Lastly, FTV Live is not just for reporters. It is for people that work in TV news, and that includes reporters, anchors, photographers, producers, PAs, APs, and everyone else. But please, go on. I actually have been the receiving end of these articles, not once, twice, but three times. The most recent time just happened, I posted a picture on social media of my car being stuck in a wash, completely on this giant sand pile that I couldn't get out of. I posted it making fun of myself. It was funny, it was ridiculous, but all in all, I laughed at myself thinking others would also laugh at me. So you say you were poking fun at yourself, but you take me to task for laughing at your car stuck in the sand. Hmm. I post a lot of things on social media that are making fun of myself. I always tell my friends who know me personally, I'm a slow motion car crash. You just kind of have to deal with at that point. But I told myself when I entered this profession that I wouldn't lose part of myself. I think a lot of times reporters have to go to this mold of who they're supposed to be. And I told myself I wasn't gonna let that happen because I like who I am. I'm goofy. I'm crazy. I am imperfect. I, you know, I'm not going to change who I am because someone says they don't like me for TV. Good for you, Austin. I don't think anyone should ever change for someone else. And that not only holds true for people in TV news, but for people in life in general. This morning, I got a bunch of text messages about the article saying I saw it, how I was doing, how I felt. So I wanted to make a video explaining how I feel right now. I'm fine. Woo! 
I'm glad you're fine, Austin. Was I annoyed at first? Yes. Did I roll my eyes? Absolutely. Am I gonna continue bringing you the news that you need? Yeah. Some kid with his car stuck in the desert during a global pandemic, which has killed 150,000 people plus, is not really the news that I quote need. But okay, you keep bringing it. But am I gonna change who I am to fit a mold because someone doesn't like me? Absolutely not. I might be imperfect, a class clown, some call me a goofy person, but I feel like I'm relatable. And to Scott Jones, my work speaks for itself. It's strong. You can't take that down, but you can't attack my character and that's fine. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I've never seen a single report that you've done. I've never attacked your work. I've never seen your work. All I commented on was a privileged kid that was flexing a bit on social media. That's it. But to the reporters who have been on the receiving end of FTV Live articles, don't change who you are just because someone doesn't like you because you're doing a great job as it is. You are very much like the TV viewers that watch newscasts. How often do you hear people say, TV news only reports negative stories. They only show shootings and house fires. But in almost every newscast, there are positive stories and good news. FTV Live is the same way. Read every story on FTV Live and you'll see that we often report people in TV news doing great things, doing great reports, and doing awesome work. But you seem to want to just focus on the not so great people in TV news and some of the stupid shit they do. Yes, FTV Live covers that, but it is just a portion of what we cover. Lastly, Austin, I don't know you. I've never met you. I've never talked to you. So I have no reason to not like you. I've never attacked your character or attacked you personally. I poked a bit of fun at you, which even you say you do to yourself. The fact that you can start your first job in TV news and not seem to have a worry about money is awesome for you. I'm jealous. Others are jealous. I know there are many of us that wish for the same thing. I hated going to the pawn shop and selling off family heirlooms just so I could make my rent payment or keep the lights on. I hated the fact that I had to cut a check to pay off my school loans and then still had to find enough money for gas so I could make it into work. I wish my first car was a BMW, but it was a Ford Pinto. Google it. Hell, I wish I could line up all my selfie pictures on the wall in a straight line as you have. There is no way I can hang my pictures that straight. I'm glad you're doing well and that you're fine. Maybe one day you will be featured on FTV Live for great work that you have done. In the meantime, stay safe, keep the villa clean and the BMW shiny, and try and keep it on the road and out of the sand. And I'll see you guys on the next one.